Welcome back YouTube. Today we're talking about what board length you should get. Um, I recently just uh, got a new board, this Never Summer Proto Slinger, and I uh, wanted to get a shorter board, so I got it in a 153. Um, I was previously on this Proto HD, that was a 157. Um, and you know, today I've definitely noticed some differences. Uh, the shorter board tends to be, you know, a little bit slower. I think um, this Proto HD um, definitely. You could tell in the flat sections is a little bit faster, glides a little, a little bit longer. Um, but the shorter board, I think, is you know a little bit more, more maneuverable. I'm um, 150 pounds, and they say you should base your your snowboard length on your weight. Um, and I could, you know, when it, it's arguable that I could be on either of these sizes, and in between, about a 157 would probably be the longest, and maybe it is a little bit of a reach. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying the shorter board for right now. Um, and if you have any kind of questions about, you know, should I get on a long board or a shorter board? I think um, kind of to sum it up that the shorter board is going to be a little bit more maneuverable, but a little bit slower and the longer board a little bit faster, usually less maneuverable. It's more board to have to push around. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know, I enjoy riding both boards, but I think uh, when I get on the, the bigger one, I, I feel a little bit less confident. Um, have a little bit harder time making turns. Um, I've really been enjoying the shorter board. If you have any questions, post below.